All right, Ben, the state's health department has updated its estimates of COVID-related nursing home deaths. It reported 1,947 long-term care residents died along with 20 staff members during the outbreak. The health department notes that data is self-reported by the nursing facilities. The federal government reporting nearly 2,300 Michigan nursing home residents died during the pandemic, now putting Michigan's total nursing home deaths at 38% of all COVID-19 related deaths. In an executive order, the governor is demanding more testing as well in Michigan nursing homes for residents as well as staff, but has not changed the policy housing COVID positive and COVID negative patients in the same building. And that is just one of today's coronavirus headlines. Yep, Michigan reporting 74 new cases of COVID-19 along with two additional deaths. The FDA has revoked emergency use authorization for two drugs that had been touted by President Trump for treatment of COVID-19. The agency now says the drugs hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine are unlikely to be effective against COVID-19 and that there's no reason to believe the drug's potential benefits outweigh their known risks. Oakland University planning on welcoming students back to campus this fall. The school will have what it's calling reduced populations of students, faculty and staff on campus at any given time. The Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island also planning to open up on the 21st of June for the 2020 summer season.